Father Mike Fuji came into court alone, in cuffs, his clerical garb, like the support of his archdiocese, now gone. With no lawyer present, a stoic Fuji listened as Assistant Prosecutor Demetra Morris read the charges against him. There are seven counts to this warrant that charge within the jurisdiction of this court and within the state of New Jersey that Michael Fuji purposely and knowingly disobeyed a judicial order. There are seven counts to the warrant. The first one is that in April of 2010, he violated the order by attending a youth retreat within the state of New Jersey at the Claremont Retreat Center in Mount Arlington. And six other violations in Ocean, Monmouth, and Bergen counties between 2010 and 2012, all fourth-degree offenses which could land Fuji in jail for up to 18 months. The archdiocese, which had at first come to Fuji's defense, claiming his dealings with children were all supervised, changed its tune last week. Today, spokesperson Jim Goodness issued a terse statement, which read in part, when the archdiocese learned of Father Fuji's violation, he was informed there would be significant consequences. Nothing is more sacred than the welfare of our children. Bob Hodson, a former Newark Archdiocese priest and founder of the victims advocacy group Road to Recovery, has been sounding the alarm about Father Fuji for nearly a decade, he says. Today he was in the courtroom, and afterwards he spoke to the media. You know, it's been 10 years since I've been fighting uh, this Fuji case, knowing that, that he was allowed to kind of just run rampant throughout New Jersey and, uh, and not be disciplined and not be supervised. Uh, and so, you know, we, we've got we've to get this thing under control, and the Archdiocese of Newark hasn't gotten under control yet. Today's hearing lasted about five minutes. The case now goes before a grand jury, which will consider whether to indict Fuji. Prosecutor Morris is the chief of the Special Victims Unit, who wrote the 2007 Memorandum of Understanding, which Fuji is accused of violating. Neither Morris nor Prosecutor Molinelli had any comment today. James Connell, the canon lawyer who's also been pressuring the Archdiocese to take action on Fuji, today said Archbishop John Meyer should be held responsible for how the Archdiocese handled the matter. Uh, unless uh, there's somebody standing next to Father Fuji 24 hours a day, seven days a week, I'm not sure just how that's going to happen. That's why I think the word has to be out there with others so there can be a network of people who are watching to simply assign one priest or a, a deacon or a person to to monitor somebody, it, it's, it, it doesn't work.